Christine. Yes, uh, good morning. Thanks again to all of you for your overwhelming support and encouragement you expressed to us in uncounted emails, private messages on social media. But please, do not consider me a hero. I'm not brave and I'm not courageous. I am simply doing my job. I was elected to Parliament to serve the people, to act on their behalf and in their best interest. And I couldn't think of a better way to serve your interest than to uphold freedom, democracy and the rule of law. But I'm telling you, the vast majority of the elected representatives, they are selling you down the river. You know, instead of adjusting our concept of what constitutes fully vaxxed, we need to adjust our concept of what constitutes legitimate government. And governments forcing people into compliance are neither legitimate nor democratic by any stretch of the imagination. And it isn't about your health either. either. You know, pharmaceutical companies are about as interested in public health as the arms industry is in world peace. Now, some of you may argue, I'm exaggerating, I'm misjudging the government's intentions. Granted, that is a possibility, but are you willing to take that risk? Can you afford this nonchalant attitude towards government considering what we all stand to lose? Others may think, yeah, I kind of see where she's coming from, but nah, my government wouldn't do it. Well, not only would they, I'm telling you, they are already doing it as we speak. As Heraclit, a Greek philosopher living in the 5th century BC, once said, the truth often evades being recognized due to its utter incredibility. So just because you cannot fathom your government having ill meanings towards you doesn't mean it is not true. And on the other hand, I'd much rather be wrong than sorry. <coughs> but it's up to you. You need to decide what you will do. But keep in mind, whatever decision you do make, you will not only make it for yourself. This decision will be made for your children and your children's children as well. Your decision today will shape the society your children will have to live in. Your decision today will predetermine whether your children will live in a free and democratic society or if they will be subjected to a surveillancing police state. Now, I am determined to leave my children a free and democratic society. And this I will fight for tooth and nail. And should it be the last thing I do on this planet? So be it. So once again, dear government, bring it on. Let's see what you've got. I am not afraid of you. You will not be able to shut me up. You will not be able to force me into compliance. Oh, and one other thing, trying to buy me off? Really? That isn't going to work either. So go ahead. Offer me a million dollars. Heck, make it a hundred million dollars. But you know what? Securing a future for my children in a free and democratic society, you could not possibly put a price tag on that. So when it comes to my stand on that issue, I would like to put it in the words of Margaret Thatcher. This lady is not for turning. You can bet on that. Thank you. Thank you, Christine.